Greetings Brewers, and welcome to Imperial Yeast's educational series. In this video, we will discuss oxygen, why it is important, how to measure it in your wort, and what that means for your fermentation. Yeast cells need oxygen in the early stages of fermentation to produce sterols and unsaturated fatty acids for their membranes. This is needed for ease of nutrient uptake and cell division. You can add oxygen by injecting pure O2 or sterile air into the cooled wort during knockout. Wort dissolved oxygen, or DO, levels can range from 8 to 25 ppm depending on the strain that you are using in the fermentation and usually fall in around 12 to 16 ppm. Most breweries use an oxygen stone in line with the wort stream post heat exchanger supplied by an oxygen regulator that has an adjustable flow valve and an LPM flow meter. Knowing what your wort's dissolved O2 level is requires the use of a dissolved oxygen meter measuring the range from 0 to 30 ppm. Prices for all the meters can range from $300 to $2,000 depending on what you select. The units that have membrane probes are less expensive and may be less accurate when gas bubbles are present. Optical units are better and significantly more expensive. You can use estimations and equations to figure out your theoretical DO levels if you don't have a DO meter. These estimations are dependent on a number of variables, including but not limited to wart flow rate, wart temperature, oxygen flow rate, and piping run length. Consistency is the most important thing to keep in mind. Do your best to run consistent wart flow and oxygen rates when knocking out. Oxygen being held at a constant rate eliminates it as a factor if there are changes in the yeast's performance. Something to remember is that groundwater can change depending on the seasons, which can lead to different wart flow rates during knockout and can cause variations in your fermentations at different times of the year. Thanks for watching, keep an eye on that O2, and happy brewing. Cheers.